Hello everyone, this is part 3 of um, Falcon JTAG. Um, this is Zen JTAG on Game Toots, JTAG Law on TTG, and Soul Searcher on Xbox Live. Um, this is obviously part 3, um, obviously you can't see, um, just to recap, you can't see the JTAG because it's been um, soldered underneath the board, um, as per BOXXDR Alternative JTAG Point tutorial online. Um, this I'm just basically, I've added the, the fan on that, there's the extra fan. It's been in nicely. Um, there's a 12 volt mod for the, for the rear fans. Alright, I'll try and do this while holding the camera at the same time. Can you do it? Sorry if that was the terrible camera angles. In goes the power lead, power table. Got my folks from Dennis on one hand. Got to give me a rating for that. What a <laughs> doing it very well. There you go. That's him. Oop. Obviously, I'm going to have to wrap that point up electrical tape before I put it all back together but for now that's okay right let's fire the beastie up right again I'll boot it into Zell just to show you that it is the same console just to find my little let me get in a shade of back which is how I showed the back just show you as a falcon HDMI the bit at the top, not in the middle. Mm. Oh, hang on, switch over. Hey, uh, we the Oops. <laughs> That means it. Yeah. Yeah. And this is also just to demonstrate um, the temperature reduction which these mods um, do to the console. Plug the controller in. Again, I'll just show you the dashboard. One nine nine. Load up XCX menu, and I'll show you the temperature readouts. Not as much of a temperature reduction on the Falcons as you get on the Xenons, but still, it's very good. Almost at room temperature, 10 degrees above room temperature there, the GPU. So there you go. Falcon running Freebeat 919 with that extra fan stuck on the GPU heatsink. Probably going on the fan, but as you can see, lots of other videos on YouTube have put fans on. Um, some internal ones here, sucking air from outside, pushing in. Would be not beneficial, but I don't draw too much power from the Xbox or the power supply. I don't screen it, so you can do that. Use an external power supply, so you know, just a 12 volt power adapter. Snip the end off, attach it to the fans. Top and there you go, external fans. 
So that, okay, rate, comment, subscribe, and of course, buy from the best in the UK. Okay, thank you. Goodbye.